please get the cartridge ready for the test you want to conduct. For a detailed description of the type of sample you need, the exact preparation and the required sample amount, please refer to the respective test-specific user guide. In case you don't have it at hand, you can also download the current version from our website at the User Services area. Next, please check that the shelf life date of your cartridge is still current. Expired cartridges will not be accepted by the system. Before opening the cartridge package, make sure that the device is ready for a test. In order to start the test, place the sample barcode around 10 cm underneath the scanner. A white light with a red dot shows that scanning is underway. Then the sample data are shown on the display. In case your analyzer is connected to a general hospital or laboratory information system, data are matched automatically. Alternatively, you can enter the data manually via the pencil icon. Now fill the selected cartridge with the prepared sample. For this, place the cartridge on an even surface and inject the matching sample into the appropriate opening. The volume you need is also printed on the cartridge label. Please note that the wrong sample amount or a different type of sample may cause an erroneous result. Close the lid until you hear it catching with an audible click. After this, you cannot reopen the lid. Next, please scan the cartridge code. Hold the cartridge's data matrix code underneath the scanner. Again, white light and a red dot show that scanning is in progress. On the display, the test description and additional information are shown, allowing you to check once again that you're really using the right test. The analyzer slot opens up. Please insert the cartridge in the direction marked by an arrow into the analyzer slot until you feel a slight resistance and the cartridge is pulled in by the device. The slot closes automatically and the test is launched. During a test, you can see on the display the current test status, the remaining test duration. In addition, you can have the sample and test information displayed by pressing the arrow up icon. Pressing X in the upper right-hand corner will abort the test. Now you've nearly made it. The test cycle run is fully automated. You only need to wait until it's done. A positive test result may already be displayed before the maximum time is over. A certain negative result will only be displayed after the total runtime has elapsed. Please always keep in mind that test results cannot be the only parameters for a reliable diagnosis. The Vivalytics system does reduce all process steps that can be influenced and thus may be prone to error to a minimum. However, there can still be errors occurring due to incorrect sampling or sample processing. That's why a diagnosis should always consider symptoms and other parameters as well. That's why only a doctor should make a diagnosis. Now the analyzer has done its job. After the test is finished, the result overview is shown on the display. First of all, the test is rated as valid, which means successful or invalid, erroneous. Select details in order to view the complete list of data. Which data are available depends on the respective test. Positive means that the target was confirmed. Negative means that no such presence could be detected. For displaying further details as raw data, select the tab next to Data List. You may export the data of the respective test in PDF format or print out a hard copy right away. The test result comprises sample and test information, the results and the raw data. Moreover, the document contains information about which user conducted the test as well as general information about the cartridge and the device. After checking the test results, please go back to the overview screen. Select Finish to eject the cartridge. The display will then switch to the welcome screen and you can take out the cartridge and dispose of it according to regional and lab-specific rules and regulations. You may now start the next test cycle.